couple weeks ago, we pointed out that Linval Joseph, former Minnesota Fighting Vikings great nose tackle, also a free agent, uh, was back in the Twin Cities, uh, back at TCO Performance Center Bar and Grill at the training house, getting things done uh, when he posts on Instagram. Who wants to see me compete in CrossFit Games? Actually, I think it was Granite Games, but that's really beside the point. And a lot of people point out, well, he's got kids here, lives here, whatever. It's a so weird that you know that, but... Again, whatevs. But Linval is back at it again. He's getting after it, and he's wearing Vikings gear. He's got the Vikings shirt. He's got the Vikings pants. He's got Vikings everything. Because maybe, maybe he's subliminally, send, subliminally sending a message to the Vikings like, hey, heard you need a little bit of extra meat. A little, need to go full Arby's. We have the meats on the defensive line. Maybe you need a guy who can be a little bit adept on the nose tackle. How about a backup for Harrison Phillips? Let's go. Let's go. Maybe that's what he's putting out in the universe because uh, Linval has been getting after it. He's been uh, hitting up some big workouts. He's eating right. He's feeling right. And, and he's living right. And also he's wearing right. As in he's wearing the Vikings gear, man. Just like the big old. That's right. Right up front, man. Also from the signage, you can see that he's training at Higher Power Training in Eden Prairie. Bring me a higher love. So he's getting it done in the Twin Cities. He's just waiting for that phone call, man. Also, he posted, uh, today was my second workout after my surgery. I can't wait to show everyone what I'll be able to do uh, at the 30th workout. Stay tuned and don't forget to go after it. So he's got the big old jug of water. And uh, let's see here. that looks like Beats. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Uh, maybe maybe we got some uh, uh, boiled steak or no baked steak, or we got some chicken breast in there too. Hey, it's all good. And with Linval, so he, he played in 14 out of the 17 games last season, but uh, he wasn't he didn't miss games with significant injury. He missed three games due, due to COVID. So who knows what that surgery was? Uh, I I didn't see the details reported anywhere. Now he did have uh, knee surgery uh, with the Vikings uh, in 2019, uh, but. Uh, I don't know what is still ailing him, uh, and potentially teams just want to wait and see what, what it's going to be like after the uh, after the surgery, after he's back to training, get him in for a physical. It's possible. Plus, you know, now we're on summer break. OTAs and uh, mandatory minicamp is in the books, uh, so teams may be waiting to see until training camp. And you know, we certainly get romantic about former Vikings and bringing bringing back that love and feel. And but the Vikings, I mean, they could use Linval as a backup nose tackle because three across the front right now is Diesel, Harrison Phillips, and Armand for Watts. And then you got Jonathan Bullard, a recently signed uh, free agent, formerly of the Falcons and the Bears. You got Jumpin' James Lynch, Jalen Twy Twyman, uh, Tyree Stevenson, Usaze Otomehu, uh, Julian Taylor, uh, TJ Smith, T.Y. McGill. You don't really have that true blue backup nose tackle, a guy that you know, can give you 15, 20, 25 snaps a game, plug up the run, and Linval can still do that. Like, it, he, he certainly isn't the pass rusher that he was at the beginning of his Vikings tenure, 2014, 2015, 2016. But, I mean, he can still get some. He, he can still absolutely get some. And uh, as we've seen, depth is important because ish is going to happen. Uh, in injuries will happen. Uh, and guys will be taken off the field. And having that depth is what is going to separate you from other teams in the league. Like, how can you handle adversity? Whoever does it the best is going to have the most success. So, yeah, I would be all down for bringing Linval back. If he's interested on coming back to the Vikings, he, he's sending out the right messages and putting out the right energy into the universe. Uh, one, one year minimal deal uh if nothing guaranteed league minimum veteran minimum or well, whatever if Linval just wants to be back if he wants to be a, a, a spiritual and team leader i'd be all for it man I, I will be even though the vikings are back up to 90 man capacity you know some things happen something shifts around in training camp some guys show that they can play some guys can't maybe Linval slides in a couple weeks left in training camp before the final preseason game gets a little run shows what he can do makes it 53 as a backup nose tackle understudy for harrison phillips everyone wins Everyone wins, man. But uh, that's it. Linval Joseph, uh, off of surgery, back at it, training in the Twin Cities, wearing Vikings gear. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.